Hello, everyone. This is Selena with Selena Thinking Out Loud, bringing you another story time with God. I hope you are well and you're off and about on this Sunday and enjoying your day. Now, we're going to jump right into our daily devotional message for today. So, if you have your Jesus Calling Daily Devotional by Sarah Young, come on and pull it out with me and also bring along your Bible and your Bible app. Alrighty. So, let's jump right in and see what God has for us to learn today. And it reads, You can live as close to me as you choose. I set up no barriers between us. Neither do I tear down barriers that you erect. People tend to think their circumstances determine the quality of their lives. So they pour their energy into trying to control those situations. They feel happy when things are going well and sad or frustrated when things don't turn out as they'd hoped. They rarely question this correlation between their circumstances and feelings. Yet it is possible to be content in any and every situation. Put more energy into trusting me and enjoying my presence. Don't let your well-being depend on your circumstances. Instead, connect your joy to my precious promises. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go. I will meet all your needs according to my glorious riches. Nothing in all creation will be able to separate you from my love. The human experience includes having continuous connections. We connect to other people through talking in person, through email, text, and video chatting. We also connect and attach ourselves to things that we feel will give us purpose, status, a reputation in the eyes of others. However, we know that all of these connections are fickle. They change frequently. God says in today's daily devotional that we can live as close to him as we choose and he will uh, put up no barriers between us. However, he will not tear down any barriers either. So the ones we put up, hey, he's not going to tear them down because he gives us choice and wants us to live for him and live a life with him, you know, freely. When we lack or feel, there's that word again, that we don't have enough or have days where we are in a bad mood because of people or internal conflicts, we tend to lash out. These actions hurt others and cause rifts, you know, serious breaks in relationships. But God says in italics that yet it is possible to be content in any and every situation. God wants us to not allow our temporary feelings to destroy connections with other people, our pets, our money, which, hey, that means reckless spending on that credit card uh, when you know you don't have enough money to pay it back. But most of all with him, you know, according to the devotional, he wants us to put more energy into trusting him and enjoying his presence. Don't let your well-being how you feel currently today and as you go into next week and thereafter depend on your current circumstances. Now we're going to go to the bottom and read these scriptures that's going to reiterate what we learned today. So if you have your Bible or your Bible app, pull that out with me now and let's turn to Philippians chapter 4 verse 12. And it reads, I know what it is to be in need and I know what it is to have plenty I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. Now we're staying in Philippians and going down to verse 19. So chapter 4, verse 19. And it reads, And my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Now Genesis chapter 28, verse 15. And it reads, I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. And finally, Romans chapter 8, verse 38 through 39. And it reads, For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any powers, neither height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. 
So I want to thank you so much for joining me for this Storytime Sunday. I don't know, this week, this message seemed to really resonate resonate a lot with me this week. And I hope it did the same for you. And I hope you get out and do something that makes you happy and know that God is working on his purpose through you. That's why he woke you up this morning and me as well. So I'll talk to you guys in the comments below. If you have any comments or feedback, go ahead and leave them at the bottom. If you enjoyed this message, make sure to give it a thumbs up to share it out and also subscribe to my YouTube channel here already. And I'll talk to you soon on the next video. God bless.